I lay all my cards out in the interview and I pretty much just say the same thing that I've said in all these videos. Um, I do things differently. Um, I'm not traditional, um, not super professional in um, my approach. I want sort of a friendly, trusting relationship with my staff. I don't want them to feel like they have to hide things or be as professional and seen one way. Um, so I run my interviews like that. Basically, I have a chat. Um, I learned this when I was um, I was a care worker, and my uh, for a charity, and my employee did exactly the same thing. Um, and some people they criticise him too. Um, they thought he wasn't very smart. They thought it was a bit scatty, um, and I was cottoned on pretty quick that. Mm, he's clever. He knows exactly what he's doing. Um, by just chatting to you about anything, everything and anything, going off in tangents, he pretty quickly gauges who you are as a person. Um, and especially for care, he primarily wanted someone who cared. Um, so I'm looking for something similar. I don't care what qualifications you have effectively, unless I'm looking for a specific role like a web design, a website designer, etc., um, or a counsellor or anything like that. But even in the, those circumstances, I would consider training you. Um, sort of paying for you to do your counselling uh, degree even. I, I think the most important thing is to gauge whether you care. Now I know even the businesses, you might say that doesn't really matter, but it does. So all of my staff now, we've we've gone through a lot. We've got a lot, got rid of a lot of staff. I'll be honest. Um, we more actually let them decide um, because it's not for them, and that's absolutely fine. A lot of people don't like working from home. A lot of people don't like that I'm not as structured, um, and some people love that. Um, so my team at the moment, they really get it, and they really care about what we're doing and about our vision and I know that's very cliche and stereotypical but they do they really get it they get what it means to be a startup company they get what the work means um, they want to work their bums off um, with me and brainstorm ideas and get there some people just want to do a nine-to-five job and don't really care about what they're doing um, but I want to find the team that do care and I will reward you just so um, so in interviews, literally, I'm just chatting. Um, find out your background, whether that is directly in what you're applying for or you just have an interest in it, um, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, especially because we're supporting so many charities as well. I, I need people to be more care, support, focused, um, as money hungry. Um, I don't want anybody in my team wanting to win a million pounds um um we pay quite well um there isn't that much progression i'd say um as as names go so we just have our zero con zero hour contract staff we have a few specialist staff and um, then we have our managers and then we have our vice presidents. Um, I can explain what the vice presidents do in a, in a second. Um, but the role is constantly changing, especially the managerial staff role. is always, always, always changing um, because we're just always starting something new. Um, we're always starting a new business or a new charity so people can have the opportunity to move around. We do a lot of group meetings so everybody can still hear about the others, get involved, bounce ideas off. and. Um, but so it's really good. Our jobs are passion projects um, and they're constantly changing. So they're short term projects to get something off the ground. Um, a lot of people don't like that and that's absolutely fine. Um, so basically in the interview, I'm just trying to gauge whether one, you respect me and you're not going to put me down as a person um, because I certainly am not going to do that to you. And I think that's just a general rule of life. Um, and then secondly, that you get it um, and that you care and then you have a passion in something. I generally try and match people with something they're passionate about. So if somebody really likes working with kids, our manager, one that 
is more kid focused um, and then effectively they can get as much out of the role as they want so they can work in in the field as much as they want so they can um, run sessions themselves take um, go and um, meet the session hosts really get involved as little or as much as they want to the role is very very flexible so in the first in the interview I don't give much away I pretty much talk exactly how I'm talking now um, mainly because I can't be that specific because the role changes so much and it's literally what you do to get out of it. Um, we have to very much work as a team to get something amazing out of each business and each charity. Um, so in the first interview I'm just trying to gauge whether we can be a good team or not and whether your heart's in the right place. Um, I'd like to say I can work that out pretty quickly. I'd like to think anybody can um, and then together we'll work our butts off to get it there if you care then you'll do it um, I like to start businesses fairly quickly um, from not much um, so we'd have an idea I'd set all up the premises for it roll it out straight away um, the premise behind that is if something's out there you will work your bum off to make sure it works. Whereas if you're developing over a really, really long time, there is always going to be excuse, there's always not going to be the right time, there's always going to be something putting you off. Whereas if it's out there, it's out there and you've got to make it work. Um, so that's how I interview and that's how I'd like everybody to sort of interview. I don't want people hiring people just because they have certain qualifications. I want to get that they get what we're doing, get how we work, I get that um, a lot of our zero contract employees are putting in a lot and it may not seem like they're getting much back but really they're getting a lot of benefits from us and they're getting a reward of doing a job that they really enjoy and helping a lot of people so I want people to be employed on that basis um, and if they're really enjoying something people don't mind putting in some extra hours um, if people are just looking for a nine to five just to pay their bills and they don't care, then this, the PV Venture, everything in the PV Venture is not for you. That's what I'm saying. Um, so there's no real technique on the interview, I would say. I would just say go be yourself. Um, tell them all about you first. Um, let them tell them, th let them tell you all about them. And that be anything. So I go in, I say... Hi, I'm Eleanor. Um, I have a house rabbit who has normally nibbled all of my documents um, and a cat. They are my fur babies. Um, I've recently bought a house up here with my partner, but I'm from Kent. Um, absolutely love it up here. Um, I studied photography at school. Um, always loved it. Always wanted to be a teacher. School ruined that for me. <laughs> uh, didn't go do that. Then I worked in lots of pubs and bars, and to be honest, I absolutely loved it. It taught me a lot about people, um, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, then I moved to Butlins, and I worked um, as a door host there, and again, really loved it. Really liked working with people. Um, and you learn a lot that way. You learn a lot of that way about it, all sorts of types of people. Um, and about being a team player and working for a company and things like that. Then I got a job as a photographer there and that's my dream job. Absolutely loved it. Uh, met my partner and we moved back down to Kent. And then I started work as a um, carer for adults with learning disabilities, of which I absolutely loved. And that's sort of where a lot of these things came from. Um, my passion and belief about things developed there. Um, I absolutely adored the job and adored all of my service users and couldn't understand why some people just didn't get it. Uh, people would always go, oh, is that a hard job? Oh, that's gross. That's you, oh, you know, change it somewhere. And my answer would be, well, if I'm not gonna do it, who is? They can't do it themselves. That's the way they were born. There's nothing you can do about it. Why do they need to live any less than us? Um, and I 
my then life's mission was to fight for any minority member, um, anyone who's going through a rough time. Um, and that's what all of these charities um, were based on. And even all the businesses have a premise behind something on helping someone um, against something I don't believe in. <laughs> um, the PV Venture is very much about trying to make the world a better place. And I know that is a very cliche thing, but I completely 100% believe in it. And we try and recruit as many people as we possibly can because the more people who are doing it, the more people who are believing it, the more people who are initiating it, whether it be really small, even teaching someone how to sew, um, it has a premise behind it. It has a body confidence um, image. It has a, I achieved this myself. And that's a very good thing to have, a good thing to promote. And if we can just provide a little bit of happiness to anyone in the world, um, that I can sleep peacefully. Um, so that's what we're trying to do here. Um, after, so I then moved on to the committee of that charity, um, of which I thoroughly enjoy and I've been spokeswoman for several things. Um, and then I moved up to the Forest of Dean, where my partner is from, and bought a house and then started all of this. Um, Realised that I didn't just want to go back and work for someone. Um, I wanted to carry all of the, the morals and the life lessons and the passion that I learned at uh, Carer's Choice. And I wanted to make a difference. Um, so even the Collins Companies was the first one I started. Um, and that helps other businesses and that helps people start their own business dreams um even like the beauticians uh shining bright beauticians that is to help newly qualified beauticians or they're qualified in one thing to start their own um i'm fully aware that people aren't going to want to stay with us forever and that's absolutely fine um whilst they're with us we're going to make it as enjoyable as possible and teach them as much as possible um, and hope that they follow the same things that we do. Um, so I've waffled on, as I do a lot. Um, but it, I hope you see just a little bit of how important this is. How it's not just trying to take money from people. Um, you'll find a lot of people out there think everything is a scam. This is not a scam. This is purely from the heart. Um, and in a good place. Um, and we just want to get that across in our interviews. Um, so anyone who interviewing out there, if you're interviewing with us, you're coming for a job, don't be nervous, just be yourself. Um, the other reason we do this is just chatting is so people don't come with prepared answers. So we really get the real people. So just come in and be yourself. That's all we ask for. Um, anybody interviewing, be relaxed, be yourself, be clumsy, show them you're human. Um, and that's the people we want to work with. We don't want to pretend we're something that we're not. Um, so that's my very, very simple tip of interviewing. Be yourself and have a chat, really. Uh, go over the basics. And then after the interview, we just have a, a basic pack to send out um, with contracts and things. Um, again, a lot of people have said, especially managers, that they don't like the packs. Um, they need to know a more strict day to day of what they've um, breakdown of what they're doing. I don't believe in that. I think one, the role is so flexible; it will change so much that that will change. Um, two, we want people who can sort of decide that themselves. <laughs> um, and I, sh why would you want to be told exactly what you've got to do every second of the day? That takes the whole point of this out of the way, the whole flexibility, the whole plan your own time, um, everything out of the way. Um, so that's as simple as it is, really. And good luck to anyone interviewing.